You've done such a great job on this Perry Mason series. It is so absorbing seeing Perry in this world of Los Angeles in 1931. I was living out this incredible fantasy, getting into the car, throwing the cigarette, tipping the hat, trying not to impersonate Bogart. <laughs> I'm Robert Downey Jr. I'm one of the executive producers of Perry Mason, and I'm gonna have a in-depth discussion with the star, Perry himself, Matthew Reese. In-depth terrifies me, but it's a pleasure. How is this Perry story different from what people might expect? The sequence of events as to how I came to this project is there's a message from my agent saying, and he's talking to you about the remake of Perry Mason. And I was like, a remake of Perry Mason. I don't know if that's a good idea. I went to meet the writers and the first thing out of their mouth was, well, we're interested in the origin story. And it stopped me dead in my tracks. And I went, oh yeah, that would be interesting. It's not just him at law school going, this is really hard. It's an incredibly interesting origin story. And you're a detective, Mr. Mason. It's a fancy word for a busybody, but yes been working together since just after the war. This character, as he's being reinvented, is a new archetype. But because we get to do it in episodes that are all just based around one case, there isn't the rush of the movie, but there's the anticipation of the season. And it's really transcendent for me. The one thing I loved about it is when you find him, he's pretty lost. At some point, you've got to admit this isn't working out. Don't you have some windows to go peek in? He's a First World War veteran who's endured this injustice, and he's making a living day to day doing something morally questionable. You need to decide what kind of person you want to be. E.B. is the lawyer with this enormous case that Mason just knows isn't right, and he has to do something about it. This one's really got its hooks in me. Me too. In a world that has done him the greatest injustice, it's the only thing he can do to rectify something in his life. It's really interesting because just when you think a trope is played out, you spin it in a new way with an investment in a bunch of characters and it really pays off. I'm going to say the actual name, the character name, and I'd like you to tell me the first three descriptive words or things that come to mind. Juliet Rylance as Della Street. Smoky, sassy, Moxie. You're a bad liar and a lousy tale. I'm working the case, I'm doing my job. Chris Chalk as Paul Drake. Magnetic, intense, and intense. <laughs> Can I ask you a couple of questions? I'm seeing more than one chalky fell in a cheap ass suit lying in the gutter with his throat cut. Tatiana Maslani as Sister Alice. Ethereal, will of the wisp. Let it be the hangman who will snap this devil's neck. John Lithgow as E.B. Jonathan. Humorous, tragic father. This is a live one. Wear your good suit. This is my good suit. You signed up to do this. It's a lot of work. It's a long time. Why do you believe that this wound up being a good piece of entertainment? Just the size and beauty of this production is worth taking a look at. But as a story, it's everything you want. For those who want to watch a crime thriller and try and figure it out, they will have that. And for those who ultimately think it's about people having relationships with people, this one flies. I'm so proud that I'm part of having brought this together. And it's been so satisfying for me to see you take on this iconic character and reinvent it and with such honesty and integrity in a way that could captivate us. And you have done exactly that, Mr. Reese, and I thank you. Well, incredibly glad to have the invite on this journey. Do you feel like you should just hang up the jersey now in case season two might not hold up? <laughs> <laughs>